Introducing the Intuitive Hour. Awaken your inner voice with psychic medium, author, and intuitive life coach, Michelle Beltran. The Intuitive Hour will empower you to learn how to magnify the powers of your intuitive voice. Listen in and expand your understanding of what it means to be psychic and how to awaken, amplify, and trust your inner voice. Hello and welcome everyone. We've got a wonderful episode lined up today. We're talking about the gift of emotional reception. Some of you may be more familiar with this term as it has been called clairsentience, which means the gift of clear feeling. Emotional emotional reception is the ability actually to receive intuitive messages through feelings, emotions, or physical sensations. And it's very much like having a sense of what's going on inside another person's life, their emotional state, personal relationship, fears, and even challenges. Those of you with this ability are what we call emotional receptives. They tune in to the psychic messages without anyone's help or the help of their five senses. Emotional receptives feel the physical and emotional condition of others, whether those conditions are in the present, in the past, or in the future. They receive sensations from locations, uh, buildings, houses, and other physical objects. They're also proficient at detecting and sensing an individual's aura. Emotional receptives, if you are one, are empathic. And they not only sense things, but they have literally an ability to feel them with their bodies. They may feel vibrations or the resonance of an emotion, a sympathetic exchange between the emotional receptive's body and the body of someone else. Such an exchange is very common in psychic healing. The emotional or physical sensation experienced by an emotional receptive can be as clear as an image coming through visual reception, uh, something seen, or through smells experienced by those capable of scent reception. Emotional reception is all about emotion and empathy. If you're deeply in touch with your own emotions and are able to share in the emotions of others easily, you are very likely an emotional receptive. For example, extrasensory stimuli may send a chill down your spine or make the hair on the arm, on your arm stand up or even give you a a sick feeling or sensation in your stomach. Psychics gifted with emotional reception are able to retrieve information from feelings, public buildings, and even outdoor environments. Ask yourself for a moment if this is you. If you have the gift of an emotional receptive, you may experience a strong emotional feeling or even a physical sensation about a place or about an individual during a first meeting. Many individuals who have this ability often do not consciously realize it. They only know they don't feel right about things. They may even enter a public space and immediately feel overwhelmed. Uh, They might feel sadness anxiety, or even an elated kind of experience. Experiences, though, that may uh, consume them and make it difficult to differentiate which feelings belong to them and which belong to someone else in close proximity. They might even get a small glimpse, if you will, of events that have taken place or will take place. Professionally trained psychics learn to take emotional messages seriously and rather than ignore or dismiss them, they zero in on the meaning. They focus on their emotional and physical reactions in an effort to learn what message is being sent and what lesson is to be learned. So to those in whom these feelings are common, it's an opportunity to gain very valuable insights to help others. The gift of emotional reception also includes receiving emotions through physical means. Many in the psychic field consider emotional reception as a highly evolved form of empathy. They are sensitive to the energies that surround people, places, and things, and they are also capable of receiving information by touching an object. 
Such information is the transmission of an emotion through a physical object. The experience is something like an, an electrical current or a nervous response. So this intake of physical information can indeed over empower an individual. Emotional receptives are so sensitive to the energy surrounding them that they very often find themselves besieged by emotions too difficult to manage. An emotional receptive or empath absolutely must learn to manage the input of emotions and the physical reactions that accompany them. They must absolutely put these emotional connections into a space where they can acknowledge them and their physical manifestations as just information to be communicated and nothing more. This takes practice, but people so endowed are mandated to submit to their gifts and deliver the messages they receive. So if emotional reception is an ability you have identified for yourself, you may say things like, the way I feel when you talk is, as opposed to, what I hear you saying is, if you often use the word feel, then you are probably an emotional receptive, also known as clairsentient, which means clear feeling. If you express yourself using the word hear, then you are most likely an audible receptive, which means clairaudient, which also means clear hearing. And if you find yourself feeling the emotions of others or walking into a room and sensing the energy of the people in it, then you are an emotional receptive. If you give attention to the feelings of your daily experiences, then you are an emotional receptive. So as you work through the issues of importance in your life, it is most likely that you consider your emotions or the emotions of others before anything else. You probably recall emotional connections, impressions, and feelings when recounting your dreams, even. While it's common to have two or more of the sensibilities in place at one time, you will have to determine which of them is the strongest or whether you are endowed equally with all of them. As you grow in your knowledge of psychic abilities, you become better at identifying your psychic strengths, and you learn more about how you interact psychically with the world around you. You will learn that the gateway to emotional reception is located in your second chakra. Your second chakra is bright orange and spins in a clockwise direction. It will help you focus, relax, and open up to the part of you that is sensitive your psychic ability. All right, so let's take a moment to recognize how it is exactly that we can know when we're getting a clairsentient message in our own body. Many times an intuitive, an energy worker, or a healer may mistake their pain with those of others. There's a very fine line to determining whose is whose. Through practice, you will begin to recognize when you are experiencing your pain or the pain of someone you're mixing energy with or you're doing some energy work or healing with. Do not discount the feeling and sensations that may come from animals as well. They sometimes have pain and as a healer, a psychic, or an intuitive, you may pick up the pain of animals as well as humans. This week, I'd like to ask you to take some time to write in your journal a moment, an uh, experience that you recall where you felt the pain in your body of someone else. I want to ask you to describe in the best detail that you can that experience and how it felt to realize the pain or emotion was not yours. Be very specific and clear and detailed. 
you will likely find that the pain or emotion of others just dropped in out of nowhere and or it will dissipate quickly after it comes in. This week, I'd also like to invite you to consider connecting on a deeper level with your body and your gift of clear feeling through my clairsentient meditation. This is located at michellebeltran.com under the media events page. I'll also take this moment to remind you about the Kickstart Your Intuition e-course, also located at michellebeltran.com. For those of you ready to really take your intuitive development to the next step, this is a fantastic platform to do so. This is a five-week self-paced online e-course, and I'm available during the entire course to answer any questions that you might have. Please do have a wonderful rest of your week. I look forward to seeing you all here next Monday. Thanks for listening to the Intuitive Hour. If you're inspired to take your intuitive development to the next step, be sure to enroll in Michelle's newly released Kickstart Your Intuition e-course at michellebeltran.com.